This shot here really reminds me of Steve McCurry's shot in, in India. I dare not look up because I don't want to distract them. Those are people there just walked past and I panicked. Gang, I say this every time. If you have not come into London during the sunrise, you are missing out. There is beautiful colour everywhere. The light is creating lovely shape. There's interesting isolated subjects. You can tell so many interesting stories without being in like a cluttered street environment. And I, I cannot, cannot describe to you how incredible it is, how much I love it. So if you haven't, and if you're coming to London and you're not getting up for sunrise, bruh. trying to get a oh this is the bad opportunity i think i got it so in this frame i've got the walkie talkie here which is getting beautiful colors shooting this way and I'm trying to get a subject up here between one of these gaps and because of this can you see it this like strut this support here that's pushing our eye this way and so that's why i'm placing the walkie talkie on the right hand side and every subject up here I feel like I've been recently really slagging off photos that are just aesthetic and I'm here to defend that. I think that it is such a flex to be able to walk around and to just be able to capture just beauty, just to be able to make things look really nice. I think that that is so, so sick and so, so fun and also so impressive. But I think that if that's all you do, then you can improve your photography by telling a better story and so don't become a one-trick pony we are multifaceted people we are multi-faceted creators and uh don't know where i'm going that can't get low enough Simpson, you are a superstar. Thank you so much for this oat flat white. I cannot wait to devour this and then devour some of that light. Cannot wait. This shot here really reminds me of Steve McCurry's shot in, in India, one of my favorite photos ever. We've got beautiful long shadows, and hopefully we can get something that's either like back illuminated. It's kind of cool to get someone like smoking a vape or something down here. Will that happen? I don't know. But anything that we want to happen can happen. So let's go vape, or even someone smoking a pipe. That'd be, that'd be cool. Yeah. famous red wall and this is being super effective right now and so we're getting all these interesting lines we've got the silhouettes of the building in the background but there's these two monkeys and i want to try to get two people about here to try and compliment the monkeys with a reflection <laughs> oh 
those two people there just walked past and I panicked. Two face silhouettes perfectly in the middle here. Come on. You know you love each other. Let's go for a kiss. I dare not look up because I don't want to distract them. Ready when you are, guys. Playing with the hair. Come on, dude. My legs hurt so much right now. So, this is nice. So, you got this that's kind of looping down, flicking off towards our bridge. There's a little patch of light over there. So, is this gonna look cool? Oh, gang, you tell me. Does that, does that look cool? Is that a power move? Something about light coming off of skyscrapers that I love. I think it just creates such like interesting compositions because light is coming from what seems like a very like unnatural way. And so you can get subjects to be illuminated in a very different and a very unique way that changes literally every like 10, 15 seconds. It, like gradually moves around. The reflections may get stronger, the direction changes slightly. And things like that then just leads to such interesting photos. So keep your eye out for Big old reflections. Light is now shifting its way up here, I think. But it's not as intense, because I think that maybe, I don't know, the angle that it's hitting the glass is mean that it's not refracting as much. But this is also interesting. sun coming off the shard is so bright, it's so intense, that it almost creates like a line in the sky. I'm not sure whether I'll be able to bring it out and post, but without blinding myself, it's quite, it's quite cool. God damn, it's beautiful today. This is, this is what makes me love photography so much, is that although my goal at the end of the day is to get out and take photos, and to take photos that we think are really sick, that's kind of our goal. We're coming out, we're getting exercise, just being in the sunshine, we are feeling positive. We are filled with joy and enthusiasm, which is the best feeling in life, other than maybe one thing. But I think that that is it's so underrated. I think that we put a lot of pressure on trying to get like incredible photos. But if we can come out and we can just be healthy and we can just be enjoying the moment, that is something that I think is. It's really special and that is one of the greatest things about our hobby and our interest in photography. So we've got leading line, leading line, leading line, subject. And we've got all this interesting background interest. It's all very tall and all very vertical. It is that time of year when it is super cold whilst also still being hella sunny. You need to get yourself a baseball cap. Any baseball cap will be an absolute staple in your street photography kit, in your street photography uniform. But if you want to get yourself a backdrop cap, link in bio.